Acrobatics yoga. It has practices a yin stretch for pose exercise. So make sure you practice this when your body is still warm. And try to practice. This kicking in Shisha Asana hit support your knee, spine, and lengthen in a forward bend. Shoulders pushing the floor away, scapula away from each other. Chin on the floor if it's possible, and you gaze ahead. Otherwise, forehead on the floor, and you gaze to your mat. Arms are long and grounded. It is a great st stretch, pulse calisthenic, aerial class, swimming, and wall climbing. We are facilitating a maximum stretch on the arms, the shoulders, and chest. Beautifully lengthen the spine. At the same time, create some flexibility through our spine. A great way to relax the shoulders and arms after all the exercises I mentioned er er earlier. Ensure your chest is going slowly to the mat to enjoy a good stretch. Have a more breath here. You are doing very well. Lengthen forward. With every breath, we want to push down to the floor. is 45 degrees slightly over the side of your mat. Bend both knees and squatting down. Knees are overshooting your ankles. Spine are long and lengthened. Both hands in Anjali Mudra. Pushing against your knees. Gaze ahead. Exhaling deep to push your hip down. Keeping your shoulders and arms active. Help to relieve any stiffness in your arms, your necks, and shoulders. The actions of lengthening the spine upwards while pushing the hip down help release any tightness from the lower back, pelvis, and hips. Offering a deep stretch through the groin muscle, your ankle, knees, hips, pelvis, spine, and inner thigh. Some people might feel some stretch on the groin. If you can sit down all the way down, you can use a block to pillow it sit under your heels. Next, we're going to bend, keep our right knee bent, right feet is resting on the floor. You're lowering yourself all the way down and hugging your left knees. This is Supta Vigasana, hugging one knee variations. You will felt a deep stretch at the psoas muscle along with the quads on your right side. Your right spine might be gentle back then, which is completely normal. This is a beneficial stretch for the athletes. At the same time, we're stretching the knees with the rotations of the kneecaps. Stay here for one minute. Every breath, I want you to surrender to the pose. If you are a runner, this is also a great stretch for your quads. Have one more breath here. Swap side. 
your left knee. Left feet is resting on the mat as you're hugging your right thigh. Feeling a deep stretch on your left foot and left shoulders. Your left spine is slightly in the back leg. The more you could have the legs, the more stretch you're gonna feel. Make sure the hips are resting on the floor. Options to use any bolster to help you support the practice. You might place it under the sit bone to alleviate Tensions on your knees. Gonna stay here for one minute. Inhale and which is Hanuman Asana Uttana Barahasta right arm under your right thigh as you slowly walk yourself away from each other you bring your whole torso down when you are here left arm is going to reach behind holding your right hands keep it up by this is a deep hip opener Chest opener. Both area are experiencing a deep stretch, especially great for sports people, gymnastic, dancer, and hiker. You will need to feel the stretch on your right hamstring, your hip, your left hip flexor, your arms, shoulders, and upper back making it a perfect way to counterbalance modern lifestyle. Slow breathing as your upper torso are resting on the floor. Back leg can be point or flex. If you're flexing your left feet, you feel more stretch on your left hip flexor. One more breath. With control, bring yourself all the way up. You're gonna swap side. This time, bend your right knee. Extend your left leg in front of you. Left arm reaching under your left thigh as you walk both feet away from each other until your torso all the way to the floor. Now rush. When you're on pace, once your torso on the floor, right arm gonna reach behind and bind with your left. This time, I'm flexing my right hip to feel the stretch on the right hip flexor even better. Your chest is open. Prevent any slouchiness. This 
facing your feet as you bring your torso all the way up in back bend. Knees are hip width apart. Feet are front facing. Legs are strong pushing upwards. Step legs together. Active arm feet and fingers pushing the floor away. <coughs> when you have enough, Keep contracting yourself all the way down and hugging both knees. All options to go to Ananda Balasana. Bend both knees, both feet to the spine, both hands reaching from the inner and holding the inner feet. You can roll side to side. A massage your back after a back bend. From here, we're gonna straighten our right leg. Shuffle your bum to the left and your left knee is also twisting to the right. Left hand are straight, face to the left. Right arms are holding on the bend left knee. Sutta Machandrasana 1. Our final cool down after all the intensive exercise and stretches. Count the pose for all the hip opener. The primary focus is to relaxing the spine. Swap side, shuffle your bumps to the right. Straighten your left leg, right knee is bent and twisting to the left. Right hands are straight to the right as you gaze to the right. It is a great way to stretching your extended limbs, your gluteus maximus and your biceps femoris. wish after all the exercises and these kind of stretches you will feel a complete you will feeling complete and prevent any body stiffness after all the body tone our goal is to increase flexibility and mobility so our final spell shavasana you are most welcome to do anything else if you wish. I will call you when it is time.